As a product manager who collects product feedback in Jira stories, it's crucial to keep product backlog arranged. Since product feedback may come from different stakeholders and create a mess. In this video, I will share 5 Jira automation rules to enhance your product feedback workflow. Hi, my name is Irina. I am a product manager at Steelsoft. Let's walk the walk and navigate right into Jira to see how to set up the first rule. When a backlog contains similar ideas, it prevents the product manager from assessing the true feature demand. Here is the rule that identifies and links duplicate ideas. Determine the trigger as a create issue. Use this query that you can find in the video description to identify issues with the similarities in a summary or description. Add a condition using the smart value to link issues if those are found. And add the link issues action with a smart value similar to the one in the conditions tab. Let's put this to the test. Imagine a client adding a new idea to a Jira backlog via the customer case portal mapped to this project. A quick check reveals that the backlog already contains similar ideas and they are linked. Since the next rule involves multiple projects, we need to set it up globally. At this step, we streamline the transition of ideas to the development phase. In our case, let's add a status change as a trigger. Configure the action to clone the issue to the development project and ensure all the necessary information is carried over to the new clone. This ensures that the technical team has the context for development. And don't forget to link the original idea to the clone if more details are needed. Let's try it out. Pick any issue and change its status, as you mentioned in the rule. Open it and check if the clone is created. The next rule eliminates you from the tedious process of closing linked issues manually after the feature release. Since the related issues can be in other projects, we must also set it up globally. We choose the status change as a trigger again that indicates the idea has been released. And in the next step, we apply this rule to the linked issues and then close them when idea is implemented. Let's test this rule in the live environment. Close any issue as if it was delivered and make sure that all the related ideas are closed as well. The next rule helps to notify customers watching the idea in bulk when it hits a release state. However, this rule works only with the customer case app portal mapped to a Jira project. Why so? Once the idea is transitioned to the release state, we can use a forum's email address to send an email that will be linked to a relevant issue. For the demonstration purpose, let's again configure the trigger when the issue is transitioned to the resolved state. To notify all the participants on the request at once, we need to paste the forum's email address as a recipient and retain the issue key in the email subject to map it to the relevant idea. Let's test it. I bet you figured out that now we need to change the idea status. And check if the auto link update works. As you see, it does. And let's confirm that on the portal. Besides updating customers, we can also update our team on Slack. For that, we need to add the send Slack message action to the former rule. However, beforehand, you need to configure the incoming webhooks feature on Slack to get the link for the automation rule and craft a concise message with the details about the update. Let's trigger this rule and check if the notification is delivered on Slack. So, what are your favorite Jira automation rules that help your team to manage product feedback in Jira? Please share with us in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next videos.